Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm going to teach you how to hit your irons pure. This is nothing like anything you've ever heard before. And no joke, within five or ten minutes, you'll be able to hit those pure, compressed irons like you've been dreaming about. All right, hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up, click on the button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and please tell all your friends about my tips. There's so many other people out there that need help too. So in the past, you might have tried to hit down on the ball. You might have tried to do forward shaft lean, pulling the butt ahead of the ball, that sort of thing, in order to try and hit your irons pure. In no way are we going to do that here. I've got a totally different way to do this. First off, you've got to understand why you would hit down on a golf ball. You hit down on the ball due to having the right fundamentals in your golf swing. In no way are you trying to hit down. If you're trying to hit down, you are trying to hit. And that is exactly what I'm trying to get you to stop doing. I don't want you to hit anything. I want the ball to be hit because it's in the way of the golf club swinging. We're not trying to hit it or help it in any way. So why? does the iron descend to give you that pure compressed sound and iron quality of a sh you know to your shots well you've started on this angle at setup right here you're on a slight angle arms are extended when you hit the top and you go to fire your lower body your upper body is going to tilt this way when you do that the club is now descending as it hits the ball because it's trying to get to the widest point which is at about two feet after contact that is the only other point in your golf swing where both arms are stretched back out so you had your arms stretched out here they don't stretch out again until here that is the widest point so of course at this point right here there would be an angle there because it's not at the widest point yet the widest point is here all right so if i'm here and I start going like this, I'm now getting lower to the ground. So the golf club is now descending as it hits the ball. So it's gonna come in, it hits the ball, then it gets to the widest point, which is here. So you don't have to hit down on the golf ball. Like I said, that is hitting. Well, what have you been doing all these years? You've been trying to hit the ball and you don't have that nice compressed sound. And you don't hit your irons pure. So there's a different way to do it. I want you to have really loose wrists, all right? So we need the club to hinge and re-hinge. Like I said, we are coming to this point here. The club is hinged right here, so it's starting to release. By the time it gets here, it's fully released, and then it re-hinges on that side. So, for this drill, I had a gentleman come out. He was <laughs> saying this exact same thing doesn't hit his irons pure, hits them too high, they don't have that nice compressed sound, you know. So I said, here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this drill, okay? You got to give me it like five or ten minutes, okay? And no joke, within five or ten minutes, he's hitting it pure as can be, taking a divot without even thinking of any of those other things. All right, so here's what I told him to do. We're going to go like this. I'm going to tee up our ball, okay? So you always want to tee up your ball a little bit because you want to make it a little easier. You got room for error. This is new and different and you're not good at it. So you tee it up a little bit, you know, gives you a little room for error. If you don't tee it up and you sit here and top every single golf ball, well, you're probably going to quit doing it. Well, here, if we got a little room for error, you don't even have to do it perfect and you can still hit one half decent. So you're going to be more likely to keep doing it. All right. So teed up the ball. Then I had him grip all the way down the grip, right here. So you can see that is one, two, that's about two and a half inches down. You know, it depends on the size of your hands. I'm not on the, the shaft of the club with my fingers. I'm just below the uh, shaft of the club. I'm still on the rubber grip. Now, we did our setup, but now, of course, because I'm gripping down, I'm lower. 
and we literally just hit balls gripping down on the golf club, all right? Now, if you grip down on the club, you will almost hit it as far as your best shots. You would think you'd hit it really short if you grip down. Yeah, that is not the case. I'm telling you right now, you will hit it maybe a hair shorter than your real shots. You might even hit it longer because now you're actually hinging and re-hinging and you will be hitting your irons pure. All right, so it's pretty simple. We grip down like this, do our normal grip, normal uh, setup, but you're bent because you've got to get down to the ground. And then right here, we are literally just hitting iron shots, gripping down. What you're gonna find is you're gonna finally start feeling the hinge and re-hinge of your golf club when you grip down like that. Because if you're here and you lock everything up, you're gonna be able to feel that because we've changed kind of the balance point on the club. So it's real easy to feel the hinge now as you're swinging that golf club. So that's the point. I'm trying to unlock your wrists. Just think about it. If you go like this, okay? And you do a chicken wing, you are going like this. You're here into your backswing coming down and you've locked everything up. When you do that, your muscles are contracting. If your muscles contract, the grip falls behind the head and the ball is literally just deflecting off the face. You will never get that compressed sound. To get that, the club has to be moving this way. So it's descending when it hits the ball, then it goes into the ground and that kind of squeezes the ball against the ground and you get that nice compressed sound. All right, to do that, you need loose wrists. Because like I said, you come in like this, the grip's gonna fall this way. Well, if your wrists are loose, you're gonna get the descending blow because your club isn't even fully extended until right here. So right here, it would be slightly on an angle and descending. So that's why gripping down creates that nice pure contact and compresses the ball with your irons. All right, so, you know, I know. <laughs> you might not believe it yet. <laughs> so here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a bucket of balls. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna just try this three times. You're gonna do the one bucket challenge, okay? I'm challenging you to hit one bucket of balls. And you're gonna grip down right there, okay? Tee up your ball a little bit to make it a little easier. And I want you to hit every one of those balls like that. And no, <laughs> no kidding, five or 10 minutes from now, after you do that, you will be making pure contact with those irons. You'll probably be taking a divot and you'll be wondering why you kept trying to hit down all those years. Because that hitting down is locking you. Remember, I need your wrist loose. You lock up, they're not loose. So you start doing this, you'll quickly see that you too will be able to hit your irons nice and pure. All right, but like I said, give me one bucket, okay? A large bucket, 70 balls, 80 balls, whatever it is. And just ball after ball after ball. It'll feel a little weird at first, but you'll see, you'll be able to hit perfect shots from right here and they will go almost as far, if not as far or even farther. And it'll be a total mind blowing experience <laughs> because you won't believe it. Then after that, if we've started here, go to here, hit shots like that. Then after a little while, go to the end of the club. Cause by then your wrist should be loosened up enough. Now you'll be gripping at the end of the club, still hitting shots with nice loose wrists. All right, so make sure you give that a try. I'm telling you, <laughs> just stick with it. <laughs> it might be ugly at first, but in no time, you'll be able to hit the irons pure. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples.
right away.